Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a cool linear object wipe transition. So for this effect to work, you're going to want a certain type of clip, and this is a great example. I'm riding up this escalator, and you'll notice that there's these pillars that obstruct the camera's view and go across the entire frame. So this is going to work best with straight lines such as that. If you want a tutorial for more complicated lines, I'll, I have done that and I'll link it at the end. But this is great for straight objects, lines that go across the screen, such as these pillars. So once you have a clip such as that, what you're going to do is go to the effects panel and find one called linear wipe. This is in the transition video effects folder and you're just going to drag it onto your clip. And from here, you want to find the starting point of the object that wipes across your screen. So in this case, I'll choose this pillar right here at the end of the clip. We'll find the first moment or the first frame that it comes into view. And I'm doing that just with the right and left arrow keys on my keyboard. So right here is the first moment where it kind of comes in that right edge of this pillar. So with my clip highlighted, I want to go to the effects control panel and find that linear wipe that we added. And we're going to add a few keyframes here for the transition completeness and the wipe angle and I'll leave the feather maybe at just like a couple pixels. We, we'll figure that out after. The transition completeness, you'll see if I put it at 50%, you'll see this is what the linear wipe does. But I want to make it come in from the other side in this case. Um, it might be different. It might be top to bottom, depending on your clip. But we can see we're just going to kind of match the angle of the object in our video and also move over percentage-wise. So you'll see this created two diamonds remembering this position. And now we're going to just move over maybe one or two frames over at first. And you'll notice we're now on a new spot. And I'm going to click on my transition completeness. And I can just use the up and down arrow keys to move 1% at a time. And you'll notice even though this is a pretty simple wipe, um, there's still a little bit of difficulty or variation in the angle that this pillar sweeps across. So it is a convenient video clip that will work, but we do have to take some considerations in also animating the wipe angle. But you can see since it is a straight pillar, we do eventually get that match. And here's where you can also maybe add a feather of a couple pixels if you want some of that motion blur breathing room. So depending on the speed of the object moving through your frame, it may be a little tedious or different for you but I'm going to work at a pace of just maybe a few frames forward at a time. Since it is a straight line, that does make our job a little bit easier. And eventually, once we get towards maybe more of the middle of the clip, or the angle isn't changing as much, maybe then we can take a little bit more liberty in spacing the keyframes further apart and seeing if it works or not. But the closer together you put the keyframes, or the more keyframes you give Premiere, the more information it will have to make this a smoother transition. So ultimately, I want to keep adding keyframes and moving forward until we get to the point where the object is fully out of the frame or the transition completeness is back at 100. So when I play that back, I, I should want to play it back just to make sure my keyframes follow nicely. If there's any moment where I feel like things didn't match up perfectly, like let's say right about here. Maybe I'd want to step in and add another keyframe, but generally that does a pretty good job right there. Now, since this is just one layer on a track by itself, we're seeing the transparency as black right now. But if I were to drag this video up to video track two and drag any other clip, for example, in underneath it, now we'd actually see as soon as that transition starts to happen, right about there, the other clip underneath will actually show up instead. So we get this cool pillar wipe transition happening. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, definitely check out my other video where I show you how to do this with the pen tool and custom masking for cases where it's a little bit more advanced than just a linear straight line object. But hopefully this helped you out. Definitely check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.